rainy and horrible. So windy. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> not take my makeup off yesterday. How are we? How are we? I'm good, I think. Slept really well. Went to bed a little bit nauseous, which was sad. But oh, slept really well. I had lots of dreams that I was staying in like some big great house with all the people I work with. And there was some sort of threat. I don't know, but it's the morning, obviously. I think it's like just past 10. Um, I've walked Harrison to work. He'll be back at like three-ish. And then I'll go back to work after that. I feel like this week has been a quiet one and will continue to be a quiet one, which is kind of nice. I feel like I kind of need that. Window's gonna slam shut with the wind. Hang on a second. Um, so yeah, I went to the pub last night, watched a load of Vampire Diaries. I went to sleep kind of early because I wasn't feeling very well. So yeah, I have like an unplanned day off today and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Honestly, I have some writing to do for uni. I'm supposed to hear back about an exciting job today. So fingers crossed, everybody. Um, and then I might be going to the pub later. And that's all I know about my day. I'll probably read some of my book. Because I haven't been reading very much. I'm reading Akatar. I'm on the second one, pictured here. Um, and I feel like I love it so much that I feel like it's gonna rip my heart out and so I'm reading it so much slower like I read on average about a book every three days and I think I've been reading this one for over a week and I'm not finished yet um because I literally read like 30 pages a day because I just I have to be in the perfect mood I feel like I don't want to pick it up if I'm in a bad mood because I don't want to like do it away <laughs> do a disservice to it but also I just like don't want it to end up I'm very anxious about it because I like care so much so yeah I'll do some reading because I've got nothing else to do. Okay, a very important character might be about to die. And I'm not happy about it. She just consistently makes stupid decisions. absolutely never go to Waitrose. Like we used to, when I was really young, because we lived so close to it. Um, but yeah, we like, we don't ever go anymore. Um, unless it's like a treat. But it was so fun. Oh God, these are beautiful. But it was so much fun. Like I love, it's just fun to walk around Waitrose, isn't it? Um, I feel like there's so much yummy stuff. And we had a car picnic. And it was lovely. Oh no, okay, I'm not cutting these. I know you're supposed to, but I'm not going to because the it's making the leaves fall off. Wow. They're so cute. They're so fit. <laughs> 
I really struggle with seasonal depression, honestly. I feel like tulips, they often come quite early. They're like the earliest sign of spring, I feel. And they always just make me feel like I can like live in a bit of a delusion that it actually is springtime if I have these in my kitchen. You know, like, so gorgeous. And it does, it just makes me feel a little bit springier. So there's my flowers. They go right there in the window. How lovely. And I have these dead guys from the market last week. So I'm going to throw them out and put the rest of the tulips in here. Um, I was talking to somebody yesterday and I, she owns a garden centre and she was telling me that if you put daffodils with other flowers, the daffodils have a chemical in them that kills the rest of the flowers in the vase. So don't put daffodils in your flower bouquets like I did. I'm going to save these dried roses because I have a jar full of dried flowers and aren't they just so beautiful. So those are going to get saved, I think. But the rest of them will just fall apart. And then the rest of these can live in here. And I'll show you where these go. How cute. And these are my dry ones too. One of my best friends tied this guy onto like the bag that she gave me my birthday present in. And I've kept it. And I just think, like with that vase, I mean, look, that's it with its little bow. Isn't it adorable? Hello. Yeah. Watch this. Whoa! He's so smart, so strong. The perfect man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! I woke up with a lot of anxious energy. Um, I did some journaling. I'm gonna go on a run to see if that just like makes all the bit like dissipate a little bit. I have my shoes. I don't really run. I want to be a running girl you so badly, but I like, like I can't run 5K. Well, maybe I could, maybe I'm just telling myself I can't run 5K. I have never run 5K. Um, I'm literally gonna run like two, maybe. <laughs> um, 
so it's not about how fast I run or how far I run I just want to move because Harrison Harrison runs Harrison is training for some exciting things and like Harrison can very much run um, and he also makes me want to run but also he is on a run right now and has my airpods so it's going to be a very silent run don't know how I feel about that. I also I own a nice running jacket I just don't know where it is like like I have all the like running stuff because when I was in Every time I'm in a dep depressive episode, I'm like, I'm gonna run. And that's, it just is like what gets me out of the house. Like when I was in Canada last year, I had a period where my mental health was very bad. And Harrison was like, right, we're, you're running, let's go outside. And we bought these shoes, which were expensive, so that I would like have some motivation to run and not waste them. <laughs> um, and it helped, like, it did get me out of that depressive episode. Um, and I just, I tell myself that I'm not capable of things really often. And this is one of those things. I am capable. I am capable. That's what I'm going to go do. did run it and it did dissipate my anxiety my like I just woke up with like like there were no anxious thoughts it's just like an anxious body and maybe my body helped like it fixed it I also towards the beginning of the run so I didn't look too rough thankfully um there we live across the road from an Olympic runner um and I we crossed each other and he said good morning to me and I was like good morning which is a bit embarrassing um but probably if I was really good at something, I'd be excited to see people starting things. I also need to keep reminding myself that, like, nobody knows how far I've run. Like, if I'm really, really out of breath and struggling, for all the people around me know, I've just run a half marathon, you know? Like, nobody knows. Nobody knows and nobody cares, but especially nobody knows. Like, I'm just running. I could have been running. For, it doesn't matter that I've been running for 10 minutes and I'm out of, that out of breath. I could have been running for an hour. Nobody knows. So, I mean, it's great. So I did it. I'm like, I feel really good. I feel really proud of myself. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's very delicate proportions. A little body to his little legs. If you put that online, somebody will comment saying he needs some hand moisture. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know, but still, we've, well, I say we, it was absolutely not we, it was Harrison and his granddad. Um, we now have like a built-in desk at the window and it looks like it's completely a part of these, the of the bookcase. The bookcase is now not wobbly, which is so good, and yeah. they're attached to each other. Like that's fully, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. It was super, super, super exciting. I do now have to put the books all back on the shelf again. <laughs> Look at that. That's so nice. I have a little chair there. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, this is everything finished. Look at that. Can you imagine how nice it's going to be to sit there and work? And just, like, have the light in your face. Because this whole house is such a dark house. And that's the one light spot that we have. And I'm so happy about it. Everything looks so gorgeous. Bedtime. The weekend is over. Has the weekend been? Do you think? Lovely. We had a fun time. Yeah. I've had a fun time. Off on Saturday. What happened on Saturday? Busy day. 
Did you work? Oh yeah. He did have a busy day on Saturday. I had a good day on Saturday. Exhausting day. It's actually been a rich remember at the beginning of the video when I said I thought it would be a quiet weekend. I'm not a very good judge of quiet. Do you know what? You look a bit creepy over there. Do you want to come over here? No. Okay. <laughs> um, it has not been a quiet weekend whatsoever. It's been so busy. And I like I didn't do the stuff that I needed to do today. So, I mean, I can't just rest tomorrow. I have to do the stuff. I have to write. I started writing my essay. But then, like, I went on a run. And I didn't think I was going to go on a run. And then Harrison's granddad came over and he was here for longer than expected. And that was a bigger job than I thought it would be. And then I went on a walk and then it was four o'clock. So I wrote like a third of my essay, probably. So tomorrow is for writing and editing and boring stuff. What are you going to do tomorrow? And then we have Anna and Tommy coming over again. We love you, Anna and Tommy. Uh, so, yeah, we've been busy. It's bedtime. I still... I need to read more. Akatar is putting me in a reading slump because I love it so much. How does that work? I don't know. I love it so much that it's, like, overridden the, like, dopamine of finishing a book, which has never happened before. What? Why are you just looking at yourself? It's bedtime. That's it. Okay, you've got no stairs now. It's bedtime. Uh, no, not for me. Bedtime for me. What are you going to do? Plan my week. He's going to plan his week and I'm going to go to bed. Bye, guys. Love you, guys. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> Some weird vibes going on. <laughs> night, night. That's it. The video's over.